Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, the Cloud Security Guy. Uh, this is Tamur, and on this channel, like we talk on a weekly basis about new topics pertaining to cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cybersecurity career advice. So today's on today's video, I want to talk about a very a very important topic which gets asked around a lot, uh, especially with people who are new in their careers or people who are thinking about changing their careers, which is artificial intelligence versus cybersecurity. Uh, like which career path should they take you know i mean the, the title of this video i'm not and it's not like clickbait uh, this is something people got asked a lot the artificial intelligence versus cyber security which is the better one what should i do so that's the reason i wanted to make this video and i wanted to talk about it and uh, so we want to pit these two topics uh, both of them cyber security you know is one of the hottest fields around right now and so is artificial intelligence i mean if you look at any report of the trending jobs the top spots for the trending jobs, both cybersecurity and artificial intelligence will be there. And uh, both of them happen to be the topic I like talk, talking about the most, you know. So, I mean, uh, this is the question I want to ask, uh, like answer today, uh, artificial intelligence versus cloud security, which is better? So which career path is right for you? So whether you have starting out or you have a few years, few years of experience and you want to change careers, both of them are excellent career choices and they give you great career paths for your long-term future. There is no straightforward answer here, which career is better because there are multiple factors to consider. So in this video, what I've tried to do, I've tried to break it down uh, based on different factors, okay? So there are some criteria I've used. And based on this, if you watch this video, I hope you can make a good decision on where you want to go with regards to your career, which of these is better for you. Uh, before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel as it will really help this channel to grow and to reach the maximum amount of people and I would really appreciate it also. Thank you. So let's talk about artificial intelligence. First of all, uh, it's considered to be the like the it's the definition of it would be the science of making intelligent machines. You know, basically computers can mimic our capability of making intelligent decisions, you know, decision making computers will be able to do. It's a huge field. I mean, if I try talking about the subfield, you have machine learning, you have robotics, you have neural networks. I mean, it's a vast, vast field. It's a very happening field. This is pretty much the future of information technology. If you talk about artificial intelligence, right? And the market demand is definitely very high. Uh, by 2030, over 800 million jobs are expected to get replaced by automation and artificial intelligence, which some people get, they get scared about it. But then you have to realize that an equivalent number of skilled jobs will also get created, right? AI is going to be a very booming sector in every industry. And this is the best time to get started. I made an earlier video on this, like what are the top reasons for choosing a career in artificial intelligence? Okay? So I link that also, you can take a look. Uh, so AI is like very much a future proof and the trend is, trend is going to continue. Like I told you, this is the future for most business and the demand for AI trained professionals is going to continue for the future. Just search any trending technology job report or go to LinkedIn trends, job trends, and you will usually see AI or machine learning topping the list. Yeah. So if you're passionate about AI, then I mean, not having job opportunity is not going to be a problem. Uh, the demand for AI professionals is going to be very high, whether it's in the US, UK, uh, China, Middle East, uh, all of these places, demand for AI professionals is going to be very, very high. Okay. So what are the type of skills you need? Okay. So programming and data science skills are very essential. As an AI or a machine learning engineer, you're going to be dealing with analytical models and working with data sets. So let me be very clear, if you're not a big fan of interacting with huma, huge amounts of data, you don't love data crunching and the data manipulation, data analysis, then AI is definitely not the field for you. You need to be also to go far in AI. You need to be proficient in languages like R, Python, Java, Perl. Uh, you should have a good foundational knowledge of probability and statistics. Okay. So this is not like a new field. If you are not not like a number like a, somebody who likes numbers somebody who likes programming then definitely this is going to be a hard career for you uh, i would not recommend going there so and that brings me to my next point the entry barrier entry barrier is high uh, guys anybody who's telling you ai is very easy like you can just become an ai machine engineer machine learning engineer no uh, definitely not it's not easy to break into ai if you don't have like certain skills which i've mentioned before Okay, like programming, data manipulation. If you already are a software developer, then you might find it easier than most. And you can build up the other skills over time if AI is a career that you're passionate about. There are numerous programs already available over the internet, like Google AI. And if you're just starting out, 
Uh, I have also have a course on Udemy and Skillshare, which you can check it out. Uh, it's there in the uh, description of this video. And if, but if you're an experienced professional, like you already have a few years, then I would suggest going with a proper degree program before translationing, uh, because there is a learning curve there. And you have many, many learning, like uh, degree programs from Oxford, from how MIT, all of the, you can just check any of them. You can get a proper six month, 12 month degree in uh, artificial intelligence. And these are usually built for professionals and they focus on real world problems to help build up your knowledge. So these are the things guys I would like, uh, want you to understand. So the sale, the entry barrier, which is there. Okay. And the point which uh, people like to talk about the most is the salaries. So yeah, the salaries are definitely high. AI is one of the highest paying jobs year in, year out. And you can check any salary report. The, like, the, like I mentioned, the entry barrier is high, but the pay is also worth it. And they, usually I've seen there's a lot of turnover between AI professionals as they get a good, high paying job, but they're usually able to get even better job. So there's a lot of turnover and companies really want to keep the AI and machine learning professionals happy. So you definitely will be able to secure a, a good paying job within the industry if you're proficient with an AI and machine learning. Okay, so that was AI in a nutshell. I hope you got a good idea of what this field is and what you need to do to get into it. So compared to that, let's move to cyber security. Cyber security, I mean, I can give you the technical definition. Basically, it's the field which makes sure that you and your company's data doesn't end up, end up in the hands of cyber criminals. It is one of the most in-demand professions in the world. Uh, as long as the internet exists, cyber criminals will be there to try to exploit weaknesses, you know, in applications and infrastructure. Uh, you'll have daily news of DDoS, ransomware, cyber frauds. And so believe me, this job will always be there in one, one shape or the other. And this field shows no sign of stopping. So, so the market demand, like I mentioned, is gonna be high. It's, it's not gonna go obsolete anytime soon. The global security market size, uh, if it's expected to reach around 300 billion, uh, what do you call, by 2028. So whether you are a small technology startup or a Fortune 500, cyber security is gonna be a top priority in the present and in the future. So the market demand is not an issue. Uh, what are the skills, guys? So definitely cybersecurity is a vast field and there's a lot of skills, uh, like different skills you can have, like uh, which you need to know. I mean, there are multiple parts within cybersecurity. I have made a video on this. I'll link it there. You can take a look at that also. But in a nutshell, you should have some foundational IT knowledge of operating systems and networking. Without that, you will definitely have problems. You won't be able to understand how to secure systems and what they, you need to know how something works before you want to secure it, right? And you should, having a bachelor's in IT, it's not mandatory, but it does help. And you should have some certification. You can check that video out I mentioned. I've gone to what sort of certifications based on what path you, because like I said, even within cyber security, there are multiple paths which are present. Uh, the entry barrier compared to AI, the entry barrier is low. It's much easier to break into AI because you have lots of parts which are there. And you, uh, most people are tech savvy now. So whether you're a newbie, you're a network admin, you're a help desk officer, cybersecurity is such a big field. All of those can be accommodated. But uh, guys, uh, one thing to be mentioned, uh, because the entry barrier is the cybersecurity market has become saturated quite a bit over the last decade. So jobs are plenty, but the competition is also quite there, uh, like very high. So we, you will need to go the extra mile to stand out compared to AI. In AI, the market is quite small and like, uh, what do you call, uh, the professional list is quite small. So it's easy to stand out. So I would mention focus on specializing your skill set, not just doing generic information security activities, do something to stand out and you'll be able to uh, command a better position and salary, which I've mentioned in my video, which I, uh, I link earlier, okay? Uh, and the salary, yeah, the salaries are very, a lot of people make that mistake. They say salaries are very high. Salaries are high in information security, but for the specialized positions or for the management level positions. So they can be low and they can be very high depending on the job you're doing. For instance, a junior information security analyst will not be paid much compared to somebody who's in cloud security and cloud security guys can command a much better high salary. And like a cyber security manager will get more uh, so uh, CISO will get more, but you need to have the foundational knowledge before. You need to have those years in before, okay? So as I mentioned earlier, take a, a focus on a particular niche and specialize if you want to stand out in cybersecurity. So this was cybersecurity in a nutshell, guys. I hope this gave you like a flavor for how it differs from AI compared to AI. So now that you've seen AI, artificial intelligence versus cybersecurity, as far as career paths go, 
I hope you have a better idea which career path to choose. Uh, like I said, there is no straightforward answer here which career is better. There are multiple things to consider. I've tried to break it down so that it, it gives you a, like a better idea based on the criteria. But like I mentioned earlier, both of them are excellent career paths for long-term career growth and success. You should make a decision, have a proper career path and invest in it fully. And definitely, I would wish you all the best in your cybersecurity or artificial intelligence career. Uh, before you guys, guys, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to this channel so that more and more people can benefit from this video. And I wish you all the best, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.